Hello, hello, Amy here, and today I'm going to share with you my emergency preparedness recipe for butternut squash soup. Yum! Right here on Amy Preps. Here's what we need for our soup. We need butternut squash. If you don't have the real thing, you can use freeze-dried. We need chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you could use water and the bouillon cube. If you don't have a bouillon cube, you could just use water if you had to. And we're also going to use a can of coconut milk. To really season this up and to make it taste great, I'm going to also add some onion. I'm going to add my freeze-dried onion since I opened it the other day, and I need to go ahead and use it. I'm going to use some garlic and I'm going to season it up with some nutmeg, some cayenne pepper, a little salt and pepper just to give it a good little flavor. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my butternut squash in half, scoop out the seeds, place it on a pan, and I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now if I didn't have electricity, what I would do is I would probably go ahead and peel my butternut squash, dice it, bring it to a boil, and I would use my crock pot cooler method. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It is an amazing way to save fuel. I'm going to put a piece of foil on the top to keep it from getting brown. And in the oven it goes. And out it comes. All right, let's make our soup. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken broth. 32 ounces in this container equals four cups. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole thing. I'm gonna add one cup of my freeze-dried onions, and that should equal one decent sized onion. I'm gonna use a whole can of my coconut milk. I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add my butternut squash, of course. We're gonna season that up nicely with some salt some pepper, some cayenne, a little nutmeg. I love nutmeg. We're going to let that simmer for a while and then it should be amazing. I let this soup simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and now it's time to blend it up and make a nice creamy soup. Today I'm going to go ahead and use my Submersion Blender. You can use really any kind of blender that you'd like. Now, if you don't have electricity, that's perfectly okay. You can just eat it as it is. You're still going to have all of those wonderful flavors. It's just going to be a little bit of a chunky soup instead of a creamy soup, and that's perfectly okay. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have that electricity, there are some other options on the market as well. One of them that I found is called a GSI Vortex Blender, which I'm definitely going to put on my prep wish list and give a try. It's a hand crank, no electricity needed blender, which would be perfect in this situation. But for today, let's go ahead and blend it up. I'm so excited to try this soup. Oh yum, our soup is done and it's amazing. Listen, this makes a really good preparedness recipe for a couple of reasons. I'm using shelf stable uh, ingredients so I didn't need to pull anything out of my refrigerator. That's always good in case of a power outage. Uh, the other reason is this thing is just chocked full of micro and macronutrients, which our bodies really truly need. And it tastes so yummy. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites and it's amazing. Hey, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, if you make this, let me know how it turns out. I always love to hear from you. I'm always reading those comments. And of course, if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. I'd appreciate that too. Thanks for sticking around with me today on Amy Preps, and I'll see you next time.